if you want to know something that really galls me in our present scheme, and that is how we treat the spouse once the breadwinner has died. And he can die either in uniform or he can die retired. It doesn't mean much difference to the poor wife, or the, I better be correct, the spouse, because at the end of the day, he's dead. And she's got to make it on her own, in a, or he's got to make it on his own. No. It's not right that here, to this day, the service, and I'm going to say use the word wife because it's easier, but you can put your spouse in. The wife has got to survive on 62%, or 62.5% of the husband's pension. Or if he was still serving, what would have been his pension had he taken his pension? What does the public servant's wife get? She gets 68% of her husband's retirement benefit. What does the politician get? Their spouse gets 83.3%. Is there a disconnect here? You bet your bottom dollar there's a disconnect. How can this be that we can have the audacity, the goal, to take and treat our spouse so poorly if the breadwinner is lost? The poor wife, the very day that the husband dies, Does the mortgage change? No. Does the repayment on the car change? No. Do the kids' school fees change? No. But overnight, she gets three-eighths of of the pension ripped away from her and said, go and survive on that. It's not good enough, and we've got to change it. 